Hey strong people, Kale back here and we are talking about this weekend's upcoming contest, Giants Live uh, Finals. So this, the, last year was the first year that they had it and it was meant to be like world's strongest man in a day. Uh, how I saw it was that they wanted like all the people that made the finals at world's strongest man to have a one day event where, you know, in a big arena where you could see them all go, where everyone goes, I wish I could watch World's Strongest Man, and, and you know, I went, <laughs> World's Strongest Man, and went over that many times in these videos, and I know a lot of you disagree with me, but the fact of the matter is, World's Strongest Man is not set up to be a live uh, sporting event, so what would we do? Everyone wants to see that, let's give it to them. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't end up with all of the finalists. Uh, you know, last year, that kind of fell apart, um, this year, it's similar, uh, where there's a lot of people that dropped out. I assume some to injury, and it seems like a lot of others uh, dropped out to focus on uh, this big uh, Dubai contest, which I will uh, try to get more information on. It's not a pretty coming up pretty soon, uh, but I'll cover that in a future video. I think uh, if, if there's a big, if there, there's a lot of promotion towards that. I think there's a lot more money. Um, in the Dubai contest, if I was to take a guess, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Anyways, it's still a very stacked lineup. It still looks to be a good show. Uh, we got some fun events. And uh, let's, let's talk about what's going on. So the athletes competing, we have Belshak, uh, Tom Stoltman, uh, Mikhail Shivlikov, Iron Bibby, Adam Bishop, Johan Els, Mateus Kilsikowski, Mark Felix, Martins Lisi, Konstantin Janashia, last year's winner, Zadrunas Saviskis, and Vitatis Lalas. So, out of that, I think last year the big surprise, no, I wouldn't say surprise, but it was fun, was, you know, Zadrunas won the whole show. Uh, looked good, did enough to win, won the overhead, uh, it was a log for reps, got some reps with the 400 kilo barbell. And looked good overall. Could he do it again? I think he looks better than he did last year. Uh, but I also think the lineup is a little bit more stacked. The events they're going to be doing. I guess the biggest deal would be the Axel for Max. Which they're hyping that up a lot. They, they, they keep calling it a world record Axel. Do we think anyone can beat Eddie Hall's? What did he hit? 216? 216 kilos? Um it, for the Axel world record, can anyone do that? I think it's very possible. Uh, a healthy Zadrunas, I mean, I would never put it past him that he can't hit, you know, 220, 218. Uh, Iron Bibby is the one that, I mean, man, he looks so good on the log, and I think Axel could be an easier, uh, could be even easier for him. It really kind of comes down to everyone has the pressing power the issue is the clean if they use the same setup as last year it's even harder because it's a fixed axle uh, uh, I think Bibby's been the one posting the most uh, you know like specific videos as far as cleans and presses and stuff it's kind of his thing is his overhead power uh, I think he I, I think he could break that record uh, this weekend and win that first event. I think it's highly likely, uh, but other events, it's kind of going to kind of be interesting to see how those go. Uh, the next event is going to be the car walk. Um, also note, it seems like the Giants Live Finals last year was the only other uh, contest. You know, so Aaron Bibby has so much hype. Uh, he wasn't able to do... Uh, world's strongest man, uh, you know, the, that's what they said. They said he, f you know, failed the medical, is what I heard. Uh, so that was disappointing to a lot of people. So this was the only other real big contest we've seen him in, and he did well. Uh, he zeroed the 400 kilo deadlift, which kept him out of. I think he maybe got what fifth or sixth. I'd have to go back and check, but definitely kept him off the podium. Looked very improved on stones and the moving events. So it'll be. I think with these events, he he could be vying for one of the top spots it's pretty much the first time since last year uh we've seen him tested against other top athletes so we'll see uh, that's the, you know the interesting thing to me is 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 the hype real we keep seeing also of course 
He also did the Log Lift World Championships, but that's a one event. That's not a full contest. Um, so next event, Car Walk. Uh, I think this is the most important event for Zadrunas to see how he will do. I think he struggles slightly. His speed is not quite right there up with some of the up-and-coming young guys. I expect Kilzikowski to really beat this event. I think, honestly, Kilzikowski might be able to get close to that Axel uh, world record. Um, other people, uh, yeah, Bibby looked fast. Belshak's pretty fast on Yoke. Um, Janashia, all this. Uh, Mart Martin's been putting up a lot of heavy yokes, looking to improve his speed there. Uh, you know, it, it, they have that setup where it's probably, I assume it's going to be that same setup where it's that bug with the safety squat bar, so it's not the strap, so it's a little more solid and uh, stable than a traditional uh, car walk where they just have the straps over you. But um, I'm expecting uh, Kilzikowski to win that event. And then here comes Kilzikowski's most important event, the giant train axle deadlift uh, with 12, what's there, about 12 athletes. Giving up 12 points with only 5 events, that's going to be tough for him winning the overall if, if he zeroes it or even gets uh, 1 or so point. Uh, I think that's going to be a really tough event. I don't know the weight on it. I tried to look that up. I'm assuming it's somewhere around 360 to 380. That's what I've seen, the kind of weights I've seen people been uh, putting up uh, on their social media. Uh, it says giant train axle, so I think it's a little elevated. I think that will help uh, Zadrunas. I think he still, you know, his, he has some issues sometimes with deadlift. He's just a little slow with it. He's very deliberate. He's trying to protect that, what, 43-year-old, you know, with been doing strongman strength sports since he was a teenager body. Uh, but still has the strength to pull a couple reps for sure. I think it really, this event comes down between uh, Martins and Janashia battling out for reps, uh, you know, there'll be some good uh, other performances in there. Lawless could come in, Lawless, depending on his clean, he's got great shoulder power. He could be right up there in the axle for Max as well. But I'm really expecting uh, uh, Martins and Janashia to be kind of one and two on the deadlift. And uh, then, then there's a duck walk, 225 kilos. That would be right about 500 pounds, I think and a 300 kilo chain drag backwards, uh, 660 pounds. Uh, I expect Johan Els to make up big points. I would think, you know, some of the more athletic uh, athletes like Adam Bishop, uh, Stoltman, uh, could uh, do well in that. It just kind of depends, especially with Bishop on the chain drag, very body weight um, intensive, so he's not the biggest guy. It might come into a factor. Uh, I think that's also going to be a big test for Bibby. I, I don't really remember any uh, medley work for him. Uh, in my opinion, his his uh, some of the training footage of him doing medley work going up to World Strongest Man last year looked slightly slow. I think he's very fast doing like where it's a straight shot, but doing one event and then another back to back could hurt. But you know he's, he's pretty damn heavy, so you know if he's able to lean back and get good. Uh, Technique on the chain drag, he, he can make up for it there. As long as the duck walk, you know how he's built, he's so thick, and you know, there's nowhere for the duck walk really to sit be between you. That can be a problem sometimes for bigger guys like him. Uh, you know, also, I think pretty much <laughs> Shivalkov's going to do what he always does and just be right there, right there, not all the way here, but not all the way there, and just right there and get um, mid pack. Uh, could also be maybe a tough event for Lawless, you know. Duck walk favors a taller guy like a uh, Stoltman. Um, and, you know, I think also someone who would really watch that event is Mark Felix. He's always a, uh, good and athletic in those type of events. And uh, the experience uh, factor of doing all of those odd events, you know, for over a decade, I think now, uh, plays a factor for sure. And going into the Atlas Stone series, Johan Els is... Very underrated at Stones. Uh, also, uh, uh, Tom Stoltman, of course. I think those will be the top two in the Stones. Belsack could be right up there with the Axel, too. I don't know why I, I forgot about him. It's hard to remember everyone. But 
I think it's going to be an awesome contest. I am picking, at the end of this day, I am going to say that Martins the Dark Horse, wink, oh, that's a joke by the way. Everyone calls Martins the Dark Horse when he's constantly winning high level contests. I'm going to pick Martins to win because I always pick him to get second and then he wins. Uh, if if uh, Kilzikowski can somehow, he would probably do good in the medley as well. Um, I think Yoke's not the best event for him. He's, he said something about not wanting to train it too heavy all the time. You know, uh, I, I think he's going to. I think he could get up there in uh, in the placing. It just really depends on how many points he loses in the axle deadlift. Uh, the Atlas Stone Series, I think he'll do well. I think uh, Els and Stoltman will do well, and that's another point important event for Bibby. And I think. I'm going to say Martins is going to win. Kilzikowski will be in uh, the top three somewhere, just depending on how many points he uh, gives up in the deadlift. And I'm going to pick I'm going to pick uh, Lawless to round out the top three. Uh, just uh, the main thing for him is he has to have a, a nice injury-free day. But my fan pick is Zadrunas repeats. That's my fan pick. That's not my analytical pick. And uh, I think Janashia could easily win this whole show or be in the top three as well. Be right up there. Um, who knows? Bibby could get in top three as well. It's just uh, I think there's a lot more uncertainty with his events. He might just be the next uh, coming of everything. But for now, going off the track record, uh, you have to just see more of him before it's easy to make that prediction. But... Uh, regardless, I think there's a high chance he could get an Axel World Record. Let me know your predictions and thoughts in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Of course, go to store.startingstrongman.com. 50,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you all for following at Starting Strongman. Giving 50% off for the rest of this week on a uh, training template so you can get an entire year of Strongman training for uh, $100. That's pretty, that's pretty good for a year of programming at store.startingstrongman.com and also 50% off my ebook, How to Train Strongman in a Regular Gym. If you want to have an idea of how to adopt uh, training to strongman when you don't have all the implements and you want to just have an idea of how strongman is structured and how to think about uh, applying your gym lifts to it, to it to have a better carryover, then I suggest picking that up, and it's 50% off to the end of this week, just 10 bucks. Of course, at store.startingstrongman.com. And I'll be back for the wrap-up show to see how wrong I was.